this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I am kidding up Night on the Galactic Railway. And I'm sorry about the pitter patter from Bo. Um, 60 and 60 by 80 from Pretty Neat Creative. Now, <clears throat> Pretty Neat Creative provides you with a very extensive, very extensive inventory sheet weight that's required of HDMC, drills that are required and then you've got the drill set I'm guessing that they have provided and I'm actually thinking that that one is the weight of the at what's required but that is the weight you're provided with so I have to well I mean that's that's the way it is and they are done up in baggies it does look like they may have given me three bags of one and two of a couple of others. So, great thing about these being in bag is they're quick to bag up. However, their inventory sheet, you have the code, the DMC, and actually, sorry, I'll rephrase that. They have the number, the code, and the DMC. Those two need to be together for labeling, for me to do labeling properly. But because these have numbers, not DMC codes, I have to make sure I have the numbers. So what I've done is just copy the legend on the side. Um, if you're actually someone that does that likes labels that can't hasn't have a copy out, it's a bit of a struggle, but you could probably manage to work it. Now I'm going to use the Zoharon sticker maker, and we're going to see if I can get this one straight. And maybe if I put it that way, what way? That way is going to tell me I've got, got it in straight. I reckon I've got it straight. I hope I've got it straight. <laughs> Can you see from there that it's straight? Oops, it's twisting already. Oh, there we go. Think I got it. Woohoo! And it's straight. Sorry. That doesn't achieve... I don't often get that result. Okay, get the other one off the desk. Uh, let's get some shine off and then we'll get moving. Um, how's your day going? Mine, uh... I suppose I've been out of bed for about one and a half hours, I think. <laughs> Go away, sticky stuff. But now we have the labels. Um, that oh no, it's not taking off autofocus. So that's nice and clean that way. You would expect me to have everything on my desk kitted up enough times that I know what I need. Uh, what else? So now I'm just going to go through, cut these. Oh, I actually will have a chat while we're at it. Uh, I am having, I tell you what, I am getting so much done, so much done. So for you guys, that the, the gems that aren't aware, I have actually started planning. I've put the question out there on the community post to, to put people to put a vote up to see if they would be interested in seeing the planning. Uh, planning is a whole different rabbit hole and a good way to describe it is Michelle uh, Creative Mayhem has um, gone to cross stitch and you know, her, <coughs> her her first video doing floss tube was you know she was on a whole different <laughs> she was in a deep rabbit hole so I sent her a picture of Wombat holes. I don't know whether she's seen it or not yet. But wombats are so much bigger. So much bigger than rabbits. And so for me, I think with the planning side of things, I've gone through a whole big, whole new wombat hole. Google wombat hole. And uh, you'll find, uh, find, see the difference. Okay, 27. Radio. 
So that's now lab, uh, in there. I'll just pull these out. So I am using the Craftmates lockable. Oh, yeah. I have. I've done a video on um, the different storage containers that I have uh, that I've brought, and my two favourites are the Craftmates lockable and the tubes, uh, the the sixty bottle holder. I will say that if it's a big diamond painting, most of the time I will use the Craftmates unless it has a lot of colours. This one only has 27 colours, so this is not going to take up much of the Craftmates lockable space, but the bags of colours are big. So we are going to be uh, using the Craftmates lockable. Uh, and making sure that I have that number on there because, yeah, the bags, I'll show you shortly. The, the, I'm, I'm, so one thing that I'm not, one of the things that I'm not happy about with Pretty Neat Creative is the fact that their baggies only have a number on them. So you have to hope that they have the correct coding uh, in a way. <laughs> Now, do you, you understand what I mean by it in a way? Because because they have the number, you only have to you only have the chance to assume that that number is that DMC color. But they could put any DMC color number on there, and because it's one, two, three, they can match them. They can turn around and say, well, they weren't always. That's their own set of colors. Um, it's like no comparison in reality, but the diamond dots, they have their own set of DMC colours. So that's where you can possibly end up with that. Uh, I probably should have looked at what size the bags are and probably skipped them along because this is only using up three sections of uh, the drills. Three sections of the... Three, no, four, four sections of the Craftmates lockable. Hmm. what when you look at something this size, twenty-seven colours is very. I get nervous on twenty-seven colours. It's not much in the way of colours, but proof is in the pudding when you see it done. Good old exacto knife. Um, I always use this for labelling up. The best thing to get under there, it's nice and thin. Okay, so there we go. That is done. So I was talking about the rabbit hole oh, and the wombat hole. I'll go back to that in a sec, but I'm just going to pull these drills out. Okay, one. Put them that way. Let's pull these drills out. Oh, I love that sound. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Now I have put them back in numerical order to make it easier for me to kit up. One to ten. Actually, I should do one to seven. There we go. One to seven. Eight to fourteen. Fifteen to twenty one. And twenty two to twenty seven. I'll see. I might throw that out. I might not. Now, so you can see here, these are just numbered. Just numbered. So if I lose, if I actually put a bag somewhere, all I've got is a number on there. This is where you get the chance that you can possibly misplace 
drills or drill bags especially when you get three bags of one color and you put it aside somewhere it's like mm, I could possibly lose them but there is no requirement for scissors quality of the bags that these are in these are the bags that uh, if you open and close them too many times you're going to find that you're going to sh shred the bag so that's where okay hang on Normally, if you slide baggies like this, there we go. That opened up. Um, these bags you can open and close them only a few times, and then you find out that you start ripping the top of the bag if you're not careful. Which is why, if you actually slide to open, you're less chance of ripping the bag. So, if you're going to work out a baggies. So all you need to do is just make sure you slide the bags to get them open. But if you actually look, you see, if you actually get there and you're... That's where I always struggle opening these bags like this. If you start pulling like that, you're going to end up ripping the plastic, so therefore your bags are going to give you grief. Oh, bit of static there. Right, that's that one there. Drop to do So we've got static. <laughs> uh, static sheets. Right, let's go. And pop one of those in there. I have mine already, my dryer sheets already um, already cut up in a little container just to make it a tad easier. Just fits. <laughs> um, staticky drills, people say it's all about the heat. Some people say it's the, the humidity that causes it. Um, I live in a very dry climate, unless it's raining. <laughs> um, I can say that the humidity doesn't affect my drills. I tend to find that the drills that have really good quality are the ones that now we did that again are the ones that um, have the static. The better the I, I find the better the quality, the better the static. Okay, so that's not going to fit in there. The bit. Is that the better the str better the static? No, it's the higher the static. Okay, so pen. I have markers out somewhere. I don't know where I put them. There they are. And yet again, the old process when I have leftovers. I highlight or put a dollop on to say that there's another, there's still more to go. I'll tell you what, because it's got a 5, not a DMC code, if I lose it, if I put that somewhere and I lose it, I'm in the poo. Probably not, but because of the colour of it, I'd be raiding drills from my stash. Because I think I've got plenty of 340. If you look at any of my squares, a lot of my squares were done with these colours. I love these colours. Oh. <laughs> I have a drill from another unboxing, <laughs> from another kit. <laughs> Definitely don't look at that. A little bit of static there, but that's okay. This won't take long to, in reality, won't take long to kit up. So. Um, so, the rabbit hole that I was talking about, the planning rabbit hole, oops, another one, isn't, yeah, it's very interesting. So I looked at planning. I've got my life planner binder. Uh, yeah, which is pretty cool. It's one that I think needs to be left on my desk. It's not one I can cart around or anything like that. Not that you cart your binders around that much. But 
I do have this coil bound. Is that going to all fit? Hang on. 9 is 17.3. Whereas 5, just looking at, yeah, 2 point. Okay, I want to get, I do want to try and get all of those in. But the static is kind of causing some grief. If you have something that's got a lot of static, just pour it into onto a drill tray with a dryer sheet on it. That takes out all the static and it stops them from bouncing around. Um, but yeah, because that was at the very end of the un opening the bag, these showed up. Okay. Um, let's go and collect some drills. One of the other reasons I think static could, nope, static could be is because these have plastic lids, not plastic lids, I'm, I'm kidding up on top of plastic. That is one thing that I do, I think I do notice more static when it's on plastic. Um, but yeah. Put these straight onto that dryer sheet in there and they're not going to bounce out. That's a drill from another. Do, 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 do. There we go. Nope. <laughs> so yeah, the rabbit hole. <laughs> so I did buy two. One was the um, binder. One is the coil. The coil one should be arriving in the next two days. There's another one. <coughs> Do have them bouncing around a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I do have the next one coming, the, the, the core one coming in the next couple of days. I think this is that one's the one that's due to arrive on Monday. But what I've done is um, that rabbit hole is so deep that I've decided that I'm going to budget. And boy, the funny thing is, I've been watching people doing doing it and the advice that they've given I've actually followed and I will go through the steps I think I'm going to do it and I'll go through the steps of uh, setting up a budget obviously I'll need to but the initial um, I suppose for me I, what I did is I looked at it and went I uh, I need the reason why I've looked and gone I need to do a budget is because I got to and worked out my income less all the expenses and then gone oh my goodness whoops that's hang on back in a sec did you miss me <laughs> uh, what I've done is I've just grabbed gone and grabbed a full dryer sheet and the big a drill tray because right there okay you can see the bag is actually already showing um, the drill sticking to the edge of the bag. I can see the static before I even open the bag. Um, actually, there we go. Can you see how the drills are stacking up on the side? Yeah, they're static. By pouring them into a big dryer sheet, it gets rid of that static. And just rub them a bit. So the dry sheet stops them from bouncing, and then just rubbing them gets them over the um, gets the ones on top, and then just pour them in. Easy peasy. So I have more of the twelve. I'm not pouring all of that twelve in. The yeah, so I <laughs> mm, yeah, I looked at I worked out what I'd cleared and then what bills I'd paid for the year. Mm -hmm. And then that gave me what is basically what I class disposable income. 
not fully disposable, I will say, because that didn't include like the grocery shopping. I didn't put that, but I did put all my regular payments. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's still some. That one definitely needs a dryer sheet in it. Some did bounce a bit. Yeah. But if I if I look at it realistically, the oh, I'm going to pull that one in. <laughs> yeah. There, let's just say I was very surprised at how much that I may have just spent spent without nothing to show for it. Uh, I know that there's no way did I buy that spend that much money on craft products. Uh, yeah. So that rabbit hole of I pop that one in there. That rabbit hole of needing to do a budget has hit hard. So I'll take go through that process. Um, yeah. You will. I think you may be a tad. You watch the. If you watch it, you'll be a tad surprised at my disposable income. I don't know how many times I've said it. You know, I've said it a few times that Nathan doesn't know what I earn. He has a rough idea. And yeah, he's close. Whoops, forgot to do that. He is close. <laughs> probably out by 10%. No, I'm probably out by 5%. <laughs> um, my... My income is, yeah, I think now it's hit double his salary. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, what can I say? But, and I get there and I look at what I have spent as opposed to um yeah my checks and balances just didn't aren't really that good oh, a little bit of static okay but more than a little bit of static that's just <laughs> the drills are sticking to my fingernails uh, maybe i should have poured them into a drill into a... okay over the edge. So yeah, I'm going to throw the budget side of things in because that's going to be quite an interesting thing. Um, one of the things that I do have an issue with is the fact that I, I do. Mm -hmm. Now this is this is an admission. I do play a little bit of online gambling. And I know that I spent a lot on that. Uh, yeah. And that's where I think the majority of my play money went to. So, in saying that, the with having the planner, I'm planning out what I do, when I do it. Uh, and that is also making sure that that gives me the fact that I don't have that I won't say free time but that time to actually go oh well I'm not doing anything right now I'll, get, I'll go and play games yeah so there's an admission and by doing a budget that budget will actually mean that um, I won't budget for any of that for that to go there so that might help me out I'm going to pour this bag straight into a drill train. I'm not taking the risk. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's where the rabbit hole of the budget, and, well, the planning started and then going with the budget and uh, working with using two planners. One will be budgeting, one will be... And one will be planning for my YouTube channel. I did put a question up on the community channel a little while ago about... If anybody minds, yeah. oops, that's going the wrong way. 
any you know if if they'd like to see the planning side of things oops too many too many Jeez, way too many this is very messy this one this is why I don't like one of the reasons why I don't like plastic bags is because the judgment of how many I can pour in and then if I get the static yeah yeah I'm gonna put that back into the bag <sighs> yeah immediately bounced up I saw them immediately stick to the top of the yeah so yeah um, in that community post and it looks like you guys some of you guys don't mind either way uh, others are going yep yeah, definitely want it so I will uh, I'll probably I'll have to that I did put two videos on or well, three videos on plan with fee Um, hang on. Yeah, so I did put two videos up of, of Plan With Free and I've got one that's uh, scheduled to go out ooh, tonight because of the day of the week it is, I think. Uh, so hopefully you guys have, the decision's been made and, and I do go ahead with it. Or I don't go ahead with it. Um, you'll actually have seen a couple of planning videos. <coughs> um, and it's really funny because I actually... I started talking about possibly doing a planning. And, you know, I didn't watch... Now, I did. I will say I didn't watch that much in the YouTube community at the time. Um, <gasps> another, another issue with bags. Um, you can tell I'm not that keen on baggies, but, um, yeah, so there's a few people in the planning community that, sorry, not planning community, in the diamond painting community that are doing planning, which is really cool. I'm not very creative, so I'm going to have fun with stickers. I've got a heap of stickers on order. Just got to wait for them to arrive now. Uh, yeah, pouring that one in. Um, yeah, so yeah, it, you either uh, you either start seeing the planning videos or you won't see them at all unless you actually go into the other channel. And if I put everything, put the planning on this channel, it will. Um, I will actually delete the other channel that I created because there's no point running to no point at all because I talk about one referring to the other and that's where that's where I'm looking why I'm look why I want to put it onto the one channel is because I keep referring to other channels <laughs> and then I'll lose track of which channel I'm referring to and yeah mm -hmm. what I will do is if I do go down the track of you guys seeing planning videos on this channel uh, create a playlist oh, so that if you actually do want to just look at the planning you can go onto my channel and see planning um, but you will also see the shush doggy you will also see <laughs> he listened to me no he didn't <laughs> I said it there. Um, you will see them by the header because it will always I will always put plan with fee on it if it's channel if it's planning but yeah hopefully hopefully 
it's it's probably easier to manage one channel than it is managing two. I've already discovered that with working on between two different channels, and then I won't miss comments either. Uh, Twenty four has extra bags. Now you will see that the I am highlighting highlighting the number when it actually focuses on there. Not on the DMC number, on the actual baggy number. Uh, for if I decide, if any of these colours I don't have in my in my um, storage, if I don't have them, I want to use those DMC numbers to um, DMC labels, the labels because they're repositionable labels. I will, you know, need to cut those off and bag it up. But yeah, this is the first time. First time I've had a diamond painting where the bags of colours do not have DMC codes. I'm not taking the risk with that one either. Yeah. Hi, so yeah. Um, yeah, the first time I've received a diamond painting that doesn't have DMC codes. Um, actually, no. Doesn't have D. Is it DMC code? I'm just trying to think if there's something I've reset, I've done that doesn't have, apart from diamond dots. Um, yeah, I can't recall one apart from diamond dots that I didn't have the coding on it. Mm, so yeah, oh well, we'll see, Let's see how it goes. Hey, yeah, 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 bit of static in that bag. What did I do put that there for? It goes there. I'm just about kitted up. Just about kitted up. I can see static in that bag. <clears throat> ack, 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 ack. So the question is, what do I do with the baggies? Do I put them back in the big plastic bag? I won't be keeping these baggies. These, if I'm going to store drills, I won't be putting them back into those drag baggies. I can tell you that much. I've got better baggies, better quality baggies than those. Um, whoops. <laughs> Sent them flying a little bit. And just put a sheet that. Okay, so I won't be keeping those bags, but what do I do with these ones? Um, they're not going to fit in that. Okay, so what I have actually done here is. I have made another copy of this, the DMC, the, the inventory sheet, and there we go. Put them through the label maker. Uh, and I've missed one. No, I haven't. There it is. There. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into these containers because I, I'm not happy about putting them back in that bag um, because there's no DMC codes. I'm just not happy with doing that. Okay, so the question is how do I work this? I'm going to, the ones that I only need one bag, I've only got one leftover bag for, where I'm only going to use one. Those four will go into this. So I will do that. I would go with the five. And I'm putting the full label on. I'm trying to get this position right. Hang on. I'm trying to get the full. Oh, yeah. No. 
The mucking around that having to do is, is yeah, not happy. I do like my easy setups. That's two, two, put that there. That's five. I want 12. Which is here. Uh, I'm going to cut off that bit. And yeah, cut that bit. extra mucking around at the end of the day even when I'm diamond painting yeah um, 14 actually I will cut these while they're like that that's 14, and 25, so that's those, I'll bag put those in the um, containers. What have I got? I've got three other. Come on. <sighs> Getting frustrated with it. Not good. Okay. 12, get the static in that. Please, it's back on that. Safety first. <clears throat> so what I'm probably going to end up having to do is when I run out of colour with one of them in my main containers I'm going to end up having to empty it out from here or whatever, do something with it oh, hang on a couple of drills there Hmm. Ah well, we, 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 this is why you try companies. I used, I brought from Pretty Neat Creative more than 12 months ago, probably closer to 18 months ago I brought from Pretty Neat Creative. So they have, I will say they have upped their game. Um, they have improved. Um, they've obviously looked at how other people or other diamond painting companies go um, probably listen to people's feedback um, yeah um, I'm not I don't actually I will say I don't think they've listened to people's feedback and that and me saying that is probably going to upset uh, some of you I can see that for what I can see is that they have seen what other companies do, the companies that are higher, regarded higher and looked at, um, well the tube, tube was ever moment and everybody loves the tube for the protection, so I see that one. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is 11 and 15 in one, 
18 and 20 in another and 24 in another. Yep. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So for me, they've looked at what other comp they have looked at what other companies do. I don't know whether they've taken feedback because um, well, let's just say I sent them a video. I, when I got my uh, last diamond painting from them, I sent them a video with it. When I got the very first one, well, the first one of this round, which was somebody else's custom, I sent them a link to the YouTube video uh, that had everything in it for them. And I don't believe they looked at the video. Um... Yeah, because they then came back asking for stuff. They came back asking for what I'd provided already in that thing. They did ask for an extra bit of stuff, but they did ask for what was provide. Ask what was already in that video. Um, yeah, I just yeah. Oh, there's some trash there. Look at that. <laughs> that's not square, that's rectangular. <laughs> Meh. Ah, no matter. Okay. Oh, yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, they have improved in some things. They've put a... The back of the canvas is, is fluffy, but the front is still um, a definite canvas, you know. It's like they put a light, they, they put a layer or something on the back of the canvas to try and give it that soft feel. I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about the way that that is. Okay. I know I'm. I feel it. It's for me. It's actually. Um, because I work with stuff other, I mean, my hands aren't soft and silky smooth. I don't wear, use hand moisturizer or any of that. Um, it gets it gets a, a funny feeling on all the soft materials. Um, there's been two other companies that I've used that have had the soft backing, and I felt the same way about those. Um, Yeah. Whoops. There we go. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm going to pour that into that drill tray. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So what else? What else? Yeah. I mean, that's just yeah my opinion on, on this. That, They've lifted their games in something because they've seen what other companies do. I don't know whether it's because of feedback. Because I know one thing, if I gave them feedback on this, um, I don't think that changed the, changed the labelling. I don't know. I don't know. But that's, that's my personal opinion. That's how I feel about it. What's coming up on the channel? Okay. I have got things set down that I need to do within on a certain day. So there's things coming up that uh, I'm organized to do and get completed. Um, to keep an eye out for what's coming. More work on my blank custom. Yay! I scheduled time in for that. <laughs> I actually looked at stuff and went that that's the perfect day uh, to do it um, because of the shift work I, I look at certain days where I can work on it and I also have to look at when uh, Nathan is home and not home so it's quite an interesting because it takes so long to do one one section um, so that's coming up I will be 
recording um, more of my Europe trip. I've got that, my cruise, I've got that all scheduled in to get that done. So there's another thing to keep keep your ear out for. Uh, not sure. I'm going to actually, I, I'll put it in my next short whipping chat to see if anybody wants me to continue doing the short whipping chats because I'm about to, obviously you'll get more videos coming from me and those work short whipping chats are going to um, just clog up and give too many videos. Um, and it's probably a better, you know, you will get in those whipping chats, I will, sh you know, I do share stuff. Uh, it's winter at the moment here, so taking Bo outside for a walk is... Um, yeah, if it's raining and I take him out, you, know, you don't need film footage of me walking him <laughs> in the rain. There's not much to see except for a wet dog that hates being wet. Um, I will say in my next chat I will be sharing a little bit of video footage because I... I'll say in my next chat, but it probably will be one of the chats before this video goes out. Um, I washed... I washed Bo in the laundry trough and he doesn't fit and he doesn't sit because he hates water. <laughs> so I have to, I have a very hard time bathing him. Um, they, you know, I used to I used to get him and, and I used to get somebody come around, a mobile dog wash to come around and bath him for me. Oops, that's not finished yet. <coughs> And Nathan is like, oh, you know, we don't have a big backyard. I don't have a clothesline. What I used to do in our last house, I used to get a lead and tie it to the clothesline so he wouldn't run away. Um, or I'd bath him in the bath. Um, yeah. And it's just, but putting him in the bath is not fun either. Because he can, he escapes from the bath because I can't tie him down while he's in the bath. <laughs> Go on, say it, poor boy. <laughs> um, so I think I might be going. Um, here we go. I was talking about my budget and how much I blow stuff, blow how much I tend to blow stuff and not have any anything to show for it. And I'm talking about paying for someone to wash dog. <clears throat> See how my mind works. Mine. I think the last time we, I was having him washed every couple of weeks, I think every three weeks, um, it was only costing me $35 a time, so I suppose I could put that in, build it into the budget and organise it to be done once a month. Oh, gosh, the static on these, is, this one is really static here. Really static here. Okay. Hmm. And I'll tell you what, I don't know how long this video is going for because I've cleared, I've done so much in the way of, I've stopped the video a couple of times to do stuff. Right. Oh yeah, not much happening. <laughs> New financial year, yuck. Got to do my tax, yuck. Um, gonna get a tax bill this year, yuck. That's not good. Not good at all. Um, <laughs> that's what I will say with when I was working on my budget. <laughs> That was just on my standard pay, because it was only rough on what it's, well it wasn't a budget, it was more this is all what you've received, this is what you've spent. But that, what I received was only based on my salary, it didn't include my bonus. Which yeah, that was, that was a bonus. This year's bonus should be even better. 
and I didn't label it. I didn't put the label down. Smarty pants. Ah, but just about kitted up. This one's taken longer than normal. I will, I will admit that this has taken, this kitting up has taken a lot longer than normal kitting up. I've had to muck around a bit. But, I suppose half the fun. That drill that's getting in my way. Okay, so those are in the bin. I'm not keeping those. Um, yeah. That's gone. That's gone. And those bits are gone. Okay, and in the bin. There we go. So, kit it up. And so, kitting up is where I get to see like the quality of the drills um, and the packaging, how it was packaged, where I'm happy with packaging, and the drill quality looks good. Um, there's no 310. There is yeah, 796 and 995 and 3838. I do have quite a lot of. Oops, that one belongs there. Alright, so all kitted up, ready to go. Um, be a couple of whipping chats with this one, definitely. Um, but yeah, I will say down below. I will put the link to the Pretty Neat Creator of this actual diamond painting if you're interested. Um, yeah, I'd wait and see how this one turns out before I'd order another one like this from the... Mm, just nervous on the colours. Um, I think that's about it. I can't add any more to that. I'll just um, hang this up. So my canvases, when they are this big, they do go on coat hangers and I do hang them up on hooks. This one will be on two coat hangers because of the size of it. And I'll just, hang on, might as well put them away. Always make sure they're locked down. Actually, I'll put those on that side. I'll explain why I just did that. Why I just put those on the top one is when I go to work on it, I can leave that sitting like that and I'll be able to pull these out that way. Okay. keeping the inventory sheet there's no point keeping the inventory sheet but I will actually cut that image out I probably could beef it up make it bigger that image isn't yes it is on the canvas it's on the top right of the canvas just open that up slide that in so now I actually have a label on there to say, yeah, so I can see the image. Oh, that's special. It's what happens when you do it, when you turn it and you haven't snapped it, snapped it shut. If I'd actually done that, it wouldn't have happened. Because those straps actually sit across the twos. That's what stops them from falling out. 
But so this is kitted up, ready to go. That inventor sheet gone. And I'll give you another look at the painting properly. Let's get these out of the way. So night on the Galactic Railroad. There's so much blue. If you like your colour blocking, that is just about, that is all colour blocking with a couple of little dollops of different colour there. More colour blocking down the bottom here. A little bit of confetti in the sky, but all in all, there is colour blocking. Um, I will say, I look at this and every now and then, I, when I've looked at this a couple of times, I've gone, oh, that looks like a Christmas tree. But it's actually not, it's a road, it's a rail crossing. I should know that because that's a rail crossing. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, guys, that's it for me. I'll kit it up, this one's ready to work on. Um, stay tuned for work, whipped and chats and short whipped and chats and all of that when I'm working on it. Uh, being a square this is one I will attempt to work with tweezers on most of the parts so if you're interested in watching how I use tweezers keep an eye out for, for this one because um, this one I will be using tweezers on um, I do have another one I'm using tweezers as well um, but yeah guys uh, comments below what do you think of the image what do you think of a chat <laughs> Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, if you're not subscribed, uh, hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, and then the bell, so you're notified when I do an upload. Yeah, I think that's it, no more walking. I will say guys, thank you for watching, and uh, bye for now.